All right, we're live. Hi, guys. Happy. What day is it? Happy Tuesday. Everyone back from the long weekend, having a good time. I'm a little bit late for this live video. For those of you who've been following me on Instagram, you know that I have. I mentioned in my live, when was it? Yesterday on my birthday, that I will be doing a mini um, unboxing from uh, Stationery Pal. And so here we are. I was trying to get my face in in the video and I was trying to do all these other things. And so uh, I'm a little bit delayed. And now I'm seeing that the video is a tad bit blurry so i'm hoping that this is going to sort itself out but this is a good enough time because now people can sort of come in and i'm sure in um instagram youtube is alerting you guys and you guys can come in and we'll do the little bit of unveiling but in the meantime please feel free to say hi hello in the in the comments and uh yeah and we're gonna begin so Stationery Pal is, uh, for those of you who love stationery, you guys will love what I've ordered. So this is a little, little bit of a um, birthday present to myself. So here we go. First of all, this is how it came. This is the packaging it came in. Beautiful, cute little box, all about stationery. And then it's got a thank you in the back. And here we go with the unveiling. So I think I showed you guys on yesterday that look how cute this bubble wrap is, first of all. It's got little hearts in it. And my daughter Hayden wanted to open this with me, but I was like, you're in school right now, so it can't. And here we go. Beautiful, beautiful wrapping. And I love the little card. What a cute little touch. So... Putting the card aside so we can get into the elements that are over here. So there's a bunch of things that I ordered and pretty much everything is listed in the description below. If anyone is interested, there's also a discount code if you're interested. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I think it's for a pencil if I'm not mistaken. Could be. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Laura. I did. I had a fabulous birthday. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I ordered a bunch of things as I mentioned. Uh, let's see. I didn't order this, so I think they may have just thrown this in for fun. This is like one of those cell phone holders. Let's unwrap so you guys can see that anyways. So I'm starting off with something that I didn't order. So you put it on the back of your cell phone and then you can kind of hold your phone like that, right? Cute. I have one by Lisi Arts, which is on my phone, but now I have a second one with a cute little deer sort of thing on it. Gives you instructions. All right, let's put that aside. Okay, so I ordered these glitter pens because most of you know I love my glitter, and I have I've got a sheet of paper here, and I'm going to try this out after I kind of take everything out. So. This first color that I have is, I believe it's like a green, a green and a pink with a pink shimmer. So it's like a two-tone shimmer. Beautiful on the website. So I can't wait to try this one out. I'm going to put it aside for now. And then once I have all the pens, I will, I will show you guys what that's about. Beautiful wrapping as well. I am a sucker for packaging. So love the pink and the peach more of a peach than a pink oops sorry um okay yes so here we go sticky memo notes i love shoes and so this is what i ended up picking for myself because there's so many things to do while you know running the youtube channel and then doing the videos and doing the challenges and doing monthly um watercolor classes that i felt these little sticky notes where i'm going back to paper now would be really helpful and so I got these cute ones with trying to be more efficient in what I do in life and in general. But look how cute these little shoes are. And I love shoes. My husband's constantly going, you've got way too many shoes. So checklist, cute. 
All right, putting that aside. Can't wait to use those. I got two of them because I know I will definitely run out. Um, and then I got, I got these for Hayden because I know she loves blue, but I also figured if he doesn't like them, I can definitely use with more, do with more stickies because I've got paintings all over the place and I need to be organized. I really do. So putting that one aside too. Oh, a cute little keychain. Pretty. Okay, so I also have an iPad with an Apple Pencil, and so this is a case for it. It's much overdue, um, and my son's already chewed out the Apple Pencil at the end, so I think this will be perfect for now. He's eight now, however, I like he chewed it out when he was like a toddler. I know, I've had it for a while. But Apple products, you know how they are, they work real well last really long okay so this i'm not sure i think it may be a pen let me get some scissors involved right now <gasps> yes okay i don't know if anyone follows genie genie dixon i think her name is on um on Instagram but she does beautiful beautiful watercolor and I've always noticed her use something that looked like this and I think it's called a quill if I'm not mistaken let me know in the comments if you guys know but I've noticed after she does her watercolor she'll take something that looks like this and she'll just kind of create lines or details in her artwork so when I saw this on stationery pal I was ecstatic and I was like I can't wait to try this so I definitely picked myself one up and it's so pretty. Look at the colors. I think they had a couple of different colors and this was one of them. So I'm gonna put this aside with the pens as well for now and continue on with our unwrapping. Uh, move my scissors as well so I can make more space. Oh, this one. This is also for Hayden because Hayden loves her reading this is a bookmark and it's like in the form of a chain how cute is this little guy it's a um it's a little sheep i'm sure she's going to be excited for it putting that aside i think these are more sticky notes yes i'm a dog lover for those of you who didn't know so i definitely had to pick out some of the dogs there were some cute cat ones on there but they were sold out i know so um hopefully they replenish those but these dog ones are real cute Again, these are similar to my shoes and the clouds and whatnot. So sticky notes to organize myself. Okay, lots more stuff over here. Oh, wait, I did get a cat, guys. Okay, here's the cat one. And sorry, this is cats mixed with little dogs. Let me pull out the dog one again so you can see both of them side by side. There you go. They're cute, right? I am going to be sticky out, stickied out. Hi, Patty. Thank you. Okay, you can only see my hair, I'm noticing. So let me just move this behind so you can actually see my face. Otherwise, it just looks so weird. Oh. Okay, there we go. You can see my face now. Okay, so these are little pins. No, paper pins, yeah. These are paper pins, and I love the idea that they are um, little leaves, and so I'm sure they will look very, very nice on paper, actually. I'm going to open it up. And it's rose gold, yes. Because I'm constantly looking to staple, like when I do my monthly watercolor classes, I've got, like, I've got the practice sheet, I've got the main sheet, and then I've got notes and I want to have them all together. So I never have paper pins. So this is the perfect, perfect paper pin solution. And it's pretty. So just to sort of see what that looks like. How cute is that? Like a little uh, leaf, tropical leaf on there. Okay, so those are my paper pins. 
then we got um we got more checklist stuff again this cute little koala panda bit here look at this guy okay i think the hat no the hat doesn't fit him i think these are just cute little extras that they threw in how cute love getting extra cute things okay these next two things that i'm showing you are i don't know why i have my face because this is not showing me at all but uh these next two things that i'm showing you guys are um what i think a couple of you have been using and it is a watercolor paper i believe the name is pronounced okay they don't have it written in english but i think it's the bao oh here we go bao hong pure cotton watercolor paper so when i saw these on stationery pal i thought oh my gosh i have to try them because hello watercolor obviously these are um i think these are the hot press where is it should be on here somewhere 300 gsm i know i got um two of each one hot and one cold and i don't read the language so i cannot really tell you which one's which but here we go here's the other version of it um seven inch by 4.9 inches and i got two each so you guys can expect more videos with this kind of paper and if i'm not mistaken i think it is patty or Leia, who uses the green version of these papers so i'm going to be jumping on that boat and trying it out with you guys so put this aside and a few more items okay i got a ruler as well how cute is this i guess i was expecting it to be a little bit bigger but that's okay this works as well for our when I want to divide my etcher sketchbook sheet of paper into half and not use the whole thing for our videos or for our Sunday lives. I think this something like this is perfect and I think it will fit perfectly. I don't think I know it fits perfectly in my um, in my little stash of mishmash of uh, stuff over here. So that's great uh more stuff so most of you know i love my jewelry and so oh, okay okay let's can we just pause and talk about the packaging i'm going to close this so there's no distraction this is a necklace and it's a cute little teddy bear can we talk about how cute this packaging is for the necklace i have never seen this so there's a little push here okay i'm pushing I think I really need to. I'm also standing at a weird angle because I do not want to. Uh, oh, there we go. I have to push, not push and slide, just push. There we go. And it's like little plastic and it's stuck. Well, it's held together in there. And here you go. How cute is this guy? Adorable. Just adorable. I'm just like sold on the package itself. So I'm going to put this back in. Oh. oh, it kind of came undone because I put the necklace right where I'm not supposed to. So let's just move this aside for now and continue on. Oh, Leia uses cold press patty. Okay. And okay. Pink is hot press. Got it. Thank you. So more jewelry, same kind of packaging, again, very cute. This one's a clover in rose gold. So I'll push it. Push it properly without sliding. Okay, let's try this way. Oh, it's got a sticker, guys. Duh, I didn't even look at that. bear with me as i am 
trying to fight this box so I can get to the main item over here, which is this cute, dainty necklace with a clover. How cute! Okay, I've never seen packaging like this. I don't know if any of you guys have, but I haven't. And I am simply loving the cuteness of this little clover necklace. I know, I never would have assumed a stationary place would have such cute little jewelry items, but look at that. It's the cutest thing ever. And I have to comment on the pricing for these guys. They are very, very competitive, which is why I have so many items. Um, yeah. Okay, one more. Oh, this is cute. I'm not sure what this is. I wonder if this is like a opener of some sort. Almost looks like a guitar pick, but that's too sharp for the end. Forgive my ignorance if you guys know what this is, and I'm just not clicking with what it is right now, but that was my initial thought when I looked at it. One more necklace. Michelle says they have television on the side. Michelle, what do you mean? I'm not quite sure I'm following. Oh, tape on the side. Got it. Right. That's what you're trying to say. Okay, here we go. One more necklace. Okay, so this one, for those of you who've done the Hello Clarice G challenge, I did cherries for one of the challenge. And so when I saw this cherry necklace, I, let me close this again so you can see better. I absolutely was all, we need to get this cherry necklace. Look how cute this is. It's got two little cherries, a little pink, well, a heart with a pink diamond in it. And then this little detail all along the chain. Again, very, very cute. And nothing that I have seen local to me. And so I thought, I'm going to treat myself and keep it relevant with what I do. Okay, so as I mentioned previously, there were two pens. Here's the second one, and I believe this one is, oh, you know what? I think this one is the, this one's ocean green. Yeah, we'll, we'll swatch this uh, once I'm finished opening everything. What's this? Oh. More fun stuff in the box, I guess, just to sort of keep things fun and cute. Look at the cute little star with love on it. Adorable. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be... Oh, it's kind of like an elastic. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a chain or a bracelet. Probably you can use it for both. I don't know. Or a hair tie? Not sure. Or maybe just a plain elastic to sort of wrap up stuff, maybe. Oh, and obviously, obviously I had to get a ring. And someone had mentioned, oh, you know, when you wear the big rings in the videos, it's a little too distracting. So I decided to get something a little dainty. So here we go. Let's try. Okay, tape again to the side. Tape again. There we go. Almost done. All of this sticking on my hand. All right, here we go. This is a butterfly ring. And it is cute, right? Now, it's also quite tiny, but you can adjust it over here. So when I slide it on... Oh, it actually fits. Fits my big fingers. That's how cute it is. I know... You guys will see this in maybe this week's video, which I have yet to um, shoot. Okay, what else? I think that's where we're coming to the end. Again, another cute little throw in. Another cute little hat with love on it. Now, we, now I've got two of these guys and this little bobble bit. And so these right here are supposed to be markers and they are glitter markers so again we're gonna swatch these on the paper and i will show you guys what that looks like 
and uh, it comes in seven colors. Um, is that all I can tell you about them as far as I can read? Yeah. Oh, so I guess you gotta shake it before you... Okay, let's swatch. So I've got the the pens and the markers and I'm just going to put these aside move the box out of the way and I've got my I got my paper there what else? Was there anything else I needed to swatch? No, I pretty much showed you guys all the cute, fun little accessories and little bauble type elements. So these are the only things that are left to actually swatch. Let me put these aside. it pens okay so this one that i'm swatching first is the it's called blossom pink and let me see if i can zoom in perfect and i will write my name likely Okay, hold on. I'm going to try and turn this light off because I feel like there's too much. There we go, much better. Again, still too much light, but if you can see, I am i don't think you can see it as clearly. Well, we have to do a, an Instagram video of this as well. But it's got some beautiful pink, light pink, and a little bit of green. So when you like hold it to the light you can see some of the green on there i don't know if i can try and write something bigger and see yeah it doesn't make much of a difference the lighting is terrible and i can't move my camera so this is the best i can do for you you guys sorry let's write my last name okay and this one is just straight um green and what turquoise yeah it's just a green and turquoise okay let's look at these markers so i'm going to start with the green and then make my way down And I believe you have to shake it and then you have to really press down like a couple of times to get some color flowing into the tip. Oh my gosh, am I going to have to do this for every single one? I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm like sweating buckets right now trying to lean over and show you guys this stuff. Oh, here we go. There's some green that's come out. Finally, I can see some green on the nib. Okay, so these are like the pens, except in marker form. And yes, they do have quite a bit of a shine. Can you see that? Probably not. There's that little drip of uh, green goodness over there. So again, I feel like my kids are going to get wind of this and then take them and I'll never see these markers ever again. That's a massive possibility. Oh, you guys are talking about water block paper. Yeah, I know. I'm not a I'm not a very patient person when it comes to doing a lot of things. My patience is very limited, and so, oh, here we go, blue. Um, 
And so with the watercolor block paper, I find it massively annoying when I'm ready to paint and then I have to take off the paper and find a nice new piece at the bottom. There's a nice blue part. These were one of the most priciest items on the list. So I'm assuming, because I've never quite seen much of these here, that maybe this is like the Tombow version of these guys. I don't know, Posca. I don't know if anyone's heard of the name, but, but why not try it, right? We're using KMS Metallics and other metallics for our watercolor and trying to incorporate some new elements or media elements into our work might be fun oh there we go that's right my husband's name this time richard okay so these are great i think if you're doing details in cards or any of your work dark as well and you want a little bit of shine they aren't they're thicker than the actual pens but I think they would make for fun writing elements or details. Oh, purple, one of my favorite colors. Here you go. Shake, shake, shake. Who knows that song? Let's get more of that happening. Oh, almost there. Is it there? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Um, that's right, Hayden. Hayden! Okay, I think the blue is still one of my favorites, or the turquoise. Purple is the second. Now we're coming up with pink. You guys know I love my pink. Mary, yes, I am a Gemini. You remember we've had this conversation like last year. Um, last year on my birthday when you were like, oh, you're a Gemini like me. This is why we get along. Remember that? No? Here we go. Oh my gosh, this pink looks divine. Writing my son's name. Love it. I, I wish, wish I could show you this in person, person but the lighting here is, I think it's pretty blah, so it doesn't do much for it. And I can't really move the camera all the way down, so we work with what we have. Oh! Did someone say that might be a box opener? Is that what you guys are talking about? Yeah, I think you're right. Might be. I was actually thinking a letter opener, but could work for both, I believe. Oh, there we go. It's out. Whose name should I write next? Uh, I'll write my dad's name. Derek. Okay. The pink is now my official favorite. This darker pink is pretty decent. But just all of them combined, the effect is quite nice. Not yet. Oh, there we go. And then I can write my mother's name since we're on that tip. There we go. Yeah, okay, so the pink and the orange are very much to my liking. It's almost like a bronzy orange. 
So yeah. it's cute. All right. Okay. So that that's it. I am looking forward to using this. I cannot use this right now, but I think you can also use this in ink. Like you dip it in ink and then you can do um, some calligraphy and stuff. I just think that Jeannie Dixon probably just uses it for tiny lines and details in her florals. And if you've not checked her out, you should definitely check her stuff out if you love watercolor. She's got some beautiful artwork. So I'm probably going to try and see, use this the way she uses it, but I'll also try and use it with watercolor and get some nice uh, calligraphy or lettering in our work that we do. Um, yeah, that's definitely on the horizon for me. And where's my new paper? Here we go. So looking forward to trying the new paper as well. And definitely getting myself more organized with my pins and all these cute little sticky notes. So let's just see. I'll give you guys a three-month, I guess, what's it called, update on how well I'm doing with organizing myself. Because right now, what I have is boxes and boxes of, of stuff just lying um like as I do watercolor, I just sort of put it in there. There's no organization. It's nothing. So let's see. And uh, I really think Hayden is going to steal this from me, but I'm going to try and get at least one wear out of it, uh, maybe for a live or something. This guy's super cute. I love it. Anyways, all right. So that's it, guys. This is my haul from Stationery Pal. If you guys like cute things like this and um, I don't know, want to give them a try, they've given me a special code for 12% off. So you guys can definitely try that. I've listed all the links of what I have below, but they've got way, way, way more stuff than what I ordered. Um, so check them out and uh, let me know if you end up getting anything because I'd love to see what you got especially if you got something completely different from me. And um, yeah, I want to see because their stuff is super, super cute. And that's it. So let me see. Did any of you guys have any questions? Oh, Mary, you have the glass pen. Okay. Nice. The quill. I think it's called a quill on the... Probably a pen too. Works as a pen, right? Uh, oh, yes. You know what? You're right. You guys might be right. This is probably for the watercolor blocks. That makes so much sense. And by this, I mean this guy right here. So I'm definitely going to use it for... There's a couple of them. I think there's two of them in the box. So excited for that, so I don't have to use my ruler. Although, this guy over here is quite nice as well. I might be able to use him, although he's a little bit thick for that purpose. But cute stuff, I know. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for the wishes, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun session of me unwrapping with you. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and as I said, um everything is listed below if you're interested and if you end up getting anything outside of this again i would love to see what you get so please do um let me know all right all right guys have a wonderful day we'll chat soon on instagram if you follow me and um thursday is a new video in our in our new series that we're doing so check that out all right